Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Blaze Cutter, and today I am back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to put any size wood through <coughs> any size sawmill. This is going to be a short video, but this is very, very useful. So, say you're new to this game, or uh, and you're going to buy your first sawmill for 160 bucks, okay? But you realize to yourself after placing it down, after placing it down, <laughs> that the, the hole you can't place big pieces of wood through this tiny hole okay so what you're gonna actually do so let me let me get a large piece of wood and show you guys how this actually works so um, these oak woods aren't gonna be an issue for us let's try to find a wood that's larger than this over there perfect over here after I just made this video <laughs> I forgot it was there uh, if you haven't watched that video of how to scale any well number tycoon 2 yet, make sure you watch that. It's very useful as well. But this, equally if not more useful than that. I don't know. Maybe it's not more useful. We'll see. <coughs> you can decide that for yourself. But so, so saying you're new to this game, right? You buy that new sawmill, your first sawmill. It's, that's all you can afford, okay? And you realize the hole's not big enough for this type of wood that I want. And I, I find it such a pain to, to, to chop up you know, these small trees into such very very tiny pieces to actually fit it in there in the first place and I don't have enough money for a larger sawmill so what am I going to do blaze killer I'm glad you asked this is what you're going to do okay so acquire yourself the piece of wood that you want any sized piece I promise you will work okay acquire that and this works for any sa any sawmill up to the largest one. The largest one you're not going to have an issue with because it can hold any wood. Uh, well, any wood can go through it, but anything up to that works just fine. Any size wood, any, any size sawmill. Perfect, okay? I'm going to adjust my dimensions here just so I don't get a tiny, you know, a super long piece of wood. Uh, that's all I can adjust it. Perfect, okay? So, just to demonstrate, you cannot place this through there. You don't need to, you don't need all, you need to need common sense to realize this is not fit in there, <laughs> okay? What you're going to do is select your sawmill. Okay, select the move. Okay, and in this section, you can still pick up and move different objects. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to pick this up as we are moving this. Okay, so remember where this is. Remember generally where uh, this sawmill is. Okay, because it's going to disappear. Go to the move, grab this and select this, and place it generally where you remember the sawmill existing. Then press B or your cancel button. Your cancel button on the editing of the sawmill. See, I messed up there. I, I mis miscalculated where my sawmill actually was. So it's really more like right here. Cancel. And boom. It goes in there regardless of its size. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Let's demonstrate on a different sawmill. So say you have a, a, you know, a, a better sawmill. That one over there. I'm going, to demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate the same exact principle on that sawmill. It's not the best sawmill in the game, therefore it can't hold the largest size wood. But because using uh, because I'm using this trick, I can still um, it still works on it. Okay, so let me just time lapse this here and show you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we've acquired this large piece of wood, and just like in the previous one, I will now demonstrate. This is too large for the hole. Okay. Okay, too large. Unfortunate, isn't it? Okay. Check. Move. Grab this. Place it generally in the middle of the sawmill or wherever you think it is. Okay. B. Or, or cancel. Your cancel button. Doesn't matter what it is. No matter wh what you're on. Okay. And boom. It goes through just fine. And there's your piece of wood. And from there, you can do whatever you want with it. You can put it into, uh, into different blueprints. You can sell it. You can save it. You can put it back through and uh, as a different size it does not matter what you do with it from here but this is the way you can put any size wood through any size sawmill using this quick trick it's really easy it's very helpful to know and you don't have to waste your money now on large sawmills okay you can just do you can use this method even with the smallest uh, sawmill. The problem with this is that you you know you can't uh, maximize your x and y values on your dimensions with the smaller sawmills. But regardless of that fact, you can still place any size wood through any size sawmill using this trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. Make sure you subscribe um, and click the notification bell if, uh, so you'll be notified whenever I do upload. And leave any comments that you may have in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, without further ado, peace out. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped.
way that it feels right.